and angel fly within my life beside me in all I do. Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly angel reading for February the 16th through to the 22nd. I have had a very heart opening weekend because I just spent two days doing two different workshops, one with Jen Pasteloff, which I really, really recommend. Her workshops are a combination of writing and of yoga and expression. Really beautiful. I, I don't do yoga at all, and uh, it's never something that I've really kind of been involved in in a workshop sense, but it's so much more than that. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I also had a beautiful experience yesterday uh, where several of... Um, these wonderful teachers local to me in England gathered to talk about the true meaning of love. So we, I am just buzzing, my heart is wide open and we were talking about really allowing ourselves to receive love as well as give it because obviously many of us are givers. So I wanted to work with the Goddess Guidance deck from Doreen Virtue this week to see what these beautiful powerful beings have to say for us. So let's start with Monday and Tuesday as always. All right, so here we go. The card for Monday and Tuesday, Ooh, hang on a minute. Monday and Tuesday is Ostara, fertility. This is a beautiful card because we're not quite in spring in the Northern Hemisphere, but almost, and actually we do have some daffodils popping up here in England. It says, it is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. Now this is absolutely perfect because most of you have heard me say that we've been in a little bit of a holding pattern in the last few weeks because of Mercury retrograde. Now whether you believe in that or not, it has been a real time of being inward and most of you will have seen a real theme in the last few weeks where it's been deeply healing, very intense, very emotional very much about our inner world and this suggests that actually it's time for us to start to really be inspired by all of that inward time and to start to share it, start to plant those seeds and let those seeds grow in this fertile time. The angels and goddesses are actually saying it's really important that we know that we don't actually need to you know, even know what we're doing particularly creatively. Sometimes it's really important just to say, okay, so what am I being asked to do right now? How may I serve? And seeing where that leads you, because then your head is not going to get in the way of how it looks or, you know, how capable you are, how qualified you are. It's really actually about just having the ideas and letting yourself actually pay attention to those ideas. We talked a lot actually at the weekend about our, the power of our thoughts. Now, we have so many thoughts every single moment, um, but the power of our thoughts is such that we are thinking and creating beliefs all of the time. So if you, in the next couple of days, if you really watch yourself, what am I thinking about? And are those thoughts really serving me and what I want to create? Because this suggests that it's a very fertile time for us to have new ideas. So let yourself focus on those new ideas rather than the old things that are holding you back, okay? So here we go for middle of the week, Sarasvati, ooh, beautiful. I love this card because I love music. Let's see. She said, it says, express yourself through creative activities. Okay, this is perfect because it seems to me like this is a really creative week. It's time to actually take action, to get busier than we have been, to really allow ourselves to go for it, to go for our dreams, to go for these new ideas that are happening. The angels are also saying that sometimes in order to be inspired, we need to kind of get ourselves out and actually out into the world, into new surroundings. So if you feel inspired to go visit a place or travel somewhere, maybe even a favorite place in nature as Sarasvati is sitting, then do that because actually Actually, when we're in a beautiful surroundings, when we when we allow ourselves to create that sacred space for ourselves, it's much much easier to uh, to really receive the guidance that's coming through. Because 
our energy is lifted and therefore our heart is open to all of those ideas. Music, you don't need to, to know me too well to know that I truly believe in the power of music. It is so much more than just something that we enjoy. It has a power all of its own. The vibration of music is deeply, deeply healing, that we are instruments. And actually, as we were talking about for the beginning of the week, everything that we say, everything that we sound has an impact on the instrument that is our bodies because it shifts our vibration that everything that we speak actually resonates deeply within us and then creates this energy around us and everyone else. And so if we're listening to music, if we're sounding, if we're speaking, to really be conscious of what is actually being shared by us. What are we thinking? What are we speaking? What are we sharing? Does it come from our hearts? Is it really our truth and how we can really use that to change the world, to change our lives, to really make a difference, really allowing the intention that we have to be one of love. And when we do that, any creative creative project is going to be deeply powerful because we are creators and when we're actually deeply creating from that place of wisdom and from our hearts, anything is truly possible, right? So whether that be music for you or something else, absolutely beautiful. But I really recommend if you are wanting to shift your vibration this week, if you're wanting to really remember what matters to you, play a favorite song of yours, play something that really deeply touches you because it can't help but change your energy. Okay, so here we go for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the weekend. <laughs> okay, so Aphrodite, I swear to you, every time I use this deck, I think I've used it three times in these weekly readings, and every single time Aphrodite shows up. So she, well, to me, you know, she is the goddess that I, I often call upon. She She's an amazing goddess. She is the essence of femininity. And so if we're wanting to connect with the goddess within us, just like it says, inner goddess, she is a wonderful being to call upon. It says, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So again, really, you know, this is a really beautiful week to tap into our creative power, whether we're a woman or man. It doesn't matter. We all have the goddess within us because there is always that balance of female and masculine energy. And the feminine energy is the receptive part of us. So whether you're female or male, actually it's very important to be in touch with your goddess side because it will help you to receive all of the blessings that you deserve. So taking care of yourself, as it says here, appreciating your body, appreciating your energy will help you to manifest the blessings in your life that you're asking for. The goddess Aphrodite, of course, is the goddess of love, and she's reminding me to let you know, as we as we spoke about last week too, that if you really take care of yourself, if you really allow yourself to be who you truly are, then of course you're going to attract the relationship and the, the love relationship and the friendships that are going to be most uh, beneficial to you and are going to resonate most deeply with you. If you can see yourself as a best friend and as a lover and as a as a divine being of love, I am love, I am love, I am love, then love is, is going to come to you in all kinds of different ways because you are a, a reflection of that love. And so the reflection of that love will be multiplied to you in many, many forms, whether that be through a partner, uh, a friendship, uh, business relationships, whatever it is. But if your intention is to be love, to feel that love within you, it cannot help but change you. So actually, it's interesting for me because before I did this reading, I was going to offer a free sound healing because my heart has really shifted this weekend and it's my way of sharing with you. And so I wanted to say that um, please keep an eye on my Facebook page because in the next couple of days, I will be offering a free sound healing to send love to you, to open your heart, to help you to be in touch 
with your inner goddess and your inner power and to help you to receive all of those blessings. And that will be sometime midweek. So it's interesting that Saraswati came up and of course the beautiful other goddesses. They are with you. I am with you. Please know how loved you are and to remember that as you allow yourself to really go into your heart, into your deepest desires, that's when miracles happen. You are so worthy and so loved and I love you very much. Mwah!